Hey everyone, so super duper first impression video with my first Lush experience. Um, really super duper, like, I just got out of the shower. Yeah, I'm not afraid to wear a turby twist on YouTube. That's right. Alright, so I'll work backwards. So the shampoo, the bar shampoo, the juniper, I was a little afraid to try it because it was so strongly scented, but you know what? After you get it wet and work the lather, the scent actually does mellow out. So, hey, I was happy about that. The one thing I don't like is the fact that it has these little bits of, I think, lavender and something else in it. I'm going to have to go look at the ingredients to see what exactly that is. But they kind of get, like, in your hair and, I don't know, it's really weird when you're lathering it up to feel these little specks of product. Um, they do rinse out pretty easily, so that's cool. Um, obviously, that's not something that's going to keep me from, you know, not buying it in the future. I probably will get it again. The lather on it is awesome. I was actually really, really impressed with how well the bar shampoo lathered. So awesome. Good job, Lush, so far. Um, I will know more about how much I enjoy it after my hair is dry. Um, the second thing I tried was the Phoenix bath bomb. And, of course, I'm not going to put the whole thing in my tub because I am a cheap, cheap girl. And my bathtub is not very big. So I listened to a bunch of other YouTubers and I cut my bath bomb into halves and then I kind of cut the one half into another half. So this is what it looks like um, when it's all dissected. Kind of cool. So I can see how um, it would actually morph the watercolor. Um, as the bath bar fizzes, um, the gold on the outside kind of lends this cool, like, gold shimmer to the top of the water. It's all marbled and very pretty. Doesn't stain the skin, which is awesome, unless, of course, you're stupid like me and decide to play with the fizzing bath bomb while it's fizzing. Um, <laughs> it leaves your skin really soft. I actually shaved with no shave gel, no shave cream, nothing in the water. Um, no nicks. It's nice and smooth. Um, the Love Lettuce mask is pretty awesome. Um, if you can get past the kind of off-putting smell, it's actually really great. Um, I used it on my, I'm going to call it Melia until I can figure out what the heck else it would be called. But right here, um, not that you can really see it on this camera, but it has gone down um, rather drastically on the lower part of it. I'm really, really impressed. And then I have a scar over here from a mole that I've had for a really long time. I think, oh my god, I probably got it when I was like 13. Um, that's actually going down too after one use. So love lettuce? Good job. It's really kind of awesome. And then the last thing I tried was the toothy tabs. <clears throat> I was a little weirded out when I opened up the container. I don't know what it... Well, I know what I was expecting. I was expecting, like, a white tab. They're brown. So <laughs> that was a little weird. But, okay, I'm, I'm still going to try it. I paid for it. Actually, they're really awesome. Um, the only strange thing is, is when you're using them... People are used to white foam coming out of their mouth, so you get like this weird brownie, beige-ish. It's kind of off-putting, but you know what? Um, it really feels good. My teeth feel awesome. Um, hey, hey. Yeah, they feel like super duper clean. Way cleaner than when I used toothpaste. Way cleaner. So Lush has been a win. Um, yeah. Awesome. Rock on Lush. I will definitely, definitely be going back, um, definitely for some more Love Lettuce and when I do run out of my shampoo. I'll be going back for that as well. Um, I'll probably try another bath bomb. I like the Phoenix, but eh, there's so many more out there. Why settle for one flavor? All right. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.